all right we are right now blender 3.6 so as you can see these are the like basic primitives so press a and delete i'll take a cube and let's scale it up and i'll just scale this in x-axis and after that i'll go to this edit mode where i'll select the vertex and i'm simply press delete all right now let's get back to a normal view select and go to modifiers i'm using this uh, solidity modifier it will giving a basic thickness of this model so just simply increase the thickness level something like this and it's pretty done now take one cube once again and uh, let's move this cube here it will create the window and let's scale it up in z-axis and also in x-axis and now let's move this here shift d and let's move here as well separate windows and it's pretty nice now select this first and pressing shift and select this then right click and press join also you can click ctrl j to join now both are in single object now select this main cube and now you can simply click and apply and go to modifier using this boolean modifier you can simply go to this dropper and pick this two cubes and now what happened you can simply press apply select the cube and delete so now you have created successfully the window now you need to create or you need to set up the camera before moving forward so shift a and uh, you can find out the camera Sh control alt and zero so this will be your camera viewport now first of all go to eve make it to cycles gpu select it that's it now go to the output settings click this two options so it will basically render the entire only this much area all right so now you need to separate the floor because i'm going to generate some foliage over here so press tab here and go to this vertex mode select this floor right click click go to separate and selection so now what happened it will become a separate object so now i'm going to use the biome reader mode which will create some amazing foliages over here so just select this dropper and click this floor so now you open this open biome now select this floor 03 which will create some kind of amazing foliages something like this also you can modify it from here as well but i am just leaving it like that only so now i'm just clicking this uh, viewing shader so that you can see the renders now there is no light so first of all you need a light so go to color and i'm using the sky texture so now the sky light will hit from the window so let's uh, rotate the sun texture to like minus 12 or uh, let's rotate it more so that it will directly hit the light from the window so something like 174 or uh, let's 180 degree also you can rotate the sun evolution to change some settings so now we have created this type of scene all right so it's pretty amazing right now but we need to add more textures over here so i'll show you how you can apply the textures it's pretty simple so now go to the shading mode so now we are in rest now shading tab so i'll show you how you can apply the texture in the easiest way now select the cube or room now click the new option now select the principal bsdf now the shortcut is Control shift and t so it will open the browser go to downloads where i have already downloaded my texture so these are my textures select all and click this principal texture and setup when it's able to set this up the blender automatically detect all the setups and it will apply the texture here as well so it's pretty nice now we don't have any uv mapping over here so what i'll do you can simply select all and make it to like five so now it's applied successfully select this and press tab and press a to select all now go to uv and smart uv project and press ok so now we have successfully applied everything properly now if once you select the viewing shader you can see the textures are applied in a decent way also you can control the bump over here so if you want to create some bump you can simply increase the scale value like 5 or whatever you want to use so it will directly hit on the texture so now go to this uh, camera mode so now the texture is looking pretty nice the next step is all about some curtains and all so i'll using from this layout panel the blender kit tool to add some curtains and all so let's type here let's type curtains and press enter so it will show some curtains reference over here so just click this and you can find out this type of curtains so i'll select this curtain here so this is completely free now as you can see the curtain is rotated in a different direction so press r and z now 180 is the main rotation so now i have rotated this successfully scale it down slightly a bit and let's move it in this direction now select this and right click select hierarchy now it select everything shift d to duplicate and press left key and it will get back to the normal view and just move it on this side and that's it 
you have created two curtains here successfully all right next i'll add a robotic character over here to make the scene more realistic and more amazing so i'm just type a robot and press enter and just open this view option so now here i have many many robotic parts i'm selecting this one because this looks just amazing so all set i have successfully imported this model over here and it's looking pretty nice now let's see how it looks like in the render view so once you click the uh, viewing shading tab you can see this is the render tab and already it start looking realistic now you don't need so much noise on this viewport so i'm just making it to 10 so there will be less uh, noise in the viewport now if you want you can really add some fogs over here to create more realism so now to create a fog go back to our out of the camera view now shift a press um, q scale it up and scale this on z axis something like that now go to the shading tab and over there you can really add the fog over here so just get back to a normal view click the new and you can simply delete this principle bsdf right click shift search and volume and select the volume scatter connect the volume scatter to volume now you have this and then shift a and type ramp and select the color ramp and connect the color to color so now it can control the intensity so let's make it to 0.1 so this will comes like this uh, select here and let's decrease the intensity from here just a bit also you can control it 0 0.001 and make this uh, an stroppy to 0.9 so now all set we already done everything now let's do some render settings over here so just uh, go down you can find this color management over there go to look and make it to highly contrast so that it will give some kind of high contrast effect over here also you can simply go to the light path and you can really turn on this first j approximation but i suggest not necessary for this type of scene so just avoid this and uh, next go to the settings you can simply increase or decrease the resolution and that's it once you happy with your render simply go to render and render image so that's it for today guys i hope you really enjoyed this short and simple tutorial from blender and if yes then definitely hit the subscribe button myself rajat and i'll see you very soon with some more amazing new tutorials till then keep watching keep rocking world of vfx